is Lutgardo Laban. I'm a Filipino. I'm 71 years old. And I grew up in Manila, but my ancestors are from Bohol, which is an island province in the middle of the Philippines. I am Benny Sokong, and I am from Kalinga. Assalamualaikum, sa akin si Jalaluddin Kastor, makapupuan sa Lumbabayabaw, and other sor, Mindanao, Philippines. Now I'm here at the Seoul Institute of the Arts. This has been a long history between my country, my group, and this institute. And uh, this institute, uh, one of the main founders, and spe especially the creator of this beautiful complex in, in Ansan and in Namsan, was my theater director when I was 20 years old. That was 50 years ago, and that is Sir Tak Yang Yu. His vision of a total theater with sound, energy, uh, space, and this concept of using the contemporary with traditional theater is really a, such a beautiful uh, vision. He was such a cultural visionary. And look and behold what we have here in Seoul, in this institute. It's really an exemplar in developing a cultural venue for development. Now, coincidentally, he is also a classmate of the founder of my theater company. We are building a cultural hub and now a university is also developing a performing arts center. So when they ask me, what models, what examples in the world can you show us so that when we plan and develop something, we have some pegs, we have some ideas of how we can do it. I said the Seoul Institute of the Arts because here there is how the fusion of nature, the environment, landscape and bright minds bringing together the best of training, this is the model. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful to the Seoul Institute of the Arts for giving us this opportunity for exchange and collaboration. It's uh, an opportunity to play with uh, people, uh, not only the Koreans, even my uh, partner from Philippines. I I have collaborated with them, and this is an opportunity so that I can show also my talent with them, and be with them, and speak with them through music. I have been experienced a lot. Uh, one is the adjustment for the people, because I am a Marana, like for example, we Filipinos came here, we have a different uh, uh, ethnicity, different places in the Philippines. So I've experienced a lot like the adjustment, understanding, um, the culture of the people and especially the Korean people. So I tried my best to really understand what kind of people is there, what kind of, you know, their culture, I personally believe in the strength and the power of the arts to heal, to restore, and to transform. Way back during the time of our ancestors, when we were not yet influenced or uh, what, when we were not yet colonialized, and when we were not yet Catholics or Christians, and when we were not yet uh, a victim of globalization, our ancestors believed in the power of the spiritual world. And the spiritual world has been the guidance of our ancestors on how to really uh, communicate uh, with the spirits to, or, or the spiritual uh, beings that are uh, su supposed to be in the cosmos uh, because they know the origins of life is in the spiritual world. But sometimes you forget the power of the creative spirit, of the soul spirit to heal people. So we have to keep uh, connection with them. We have to help rehabilitate, not only materially, financially, but also to restore their spirit of confidence, their spirit of safety, their spirit of hope to continue on living. So these workshops in dancing, for example, they would dance what they were feeling, and after what they were, and then the music transitions into hope. So 
they know this is not the end of things. Okay, that there is something more that they can do even with this. And there was a need to collaborate, to cooperate together as a community. So in these times, they have to be together to help each other. So all of that were content of the workshops. That was in our creative writing, they created poetry, we created little skits where, it, uh, where the funny things, funny stories about the earthquakes. No? So first, the tragic story then, suddenly people were laughing about it. And what did you do? What did you do? Oh! So it becomes light, becomes so human, and that helps them restore the spirit of resilience, hope that there is something more for tomorrow. So we did a lot of workshops to keep their bodies and soul stronger and more hopeful. Until now, it is a practice in our place that uh, our doctors have this uh, uh, role, which is very important with the community. And without them, yeah, it's not a complete community. You know, uh, it's kind of when they're doing this music, uh, in that community, there is only one musical piece that they're that is being played in that community, which is their own music, musical piece. That it's kind of powerful because even that one musical piece is being played all around until tomorrow, until it is not changed. So this, uh, this musical piece is very uh, is imbibed in their body. That this, uh, is uh, the way of life, their, their way of uh, expressing their, uh, say, arts and that involves their everyday life. Uh, art can be can healed uh, because I believe. That, uh, that art can provide uh, happiness to people. Like before, we have the faith in Manawi City, our city. And then uh, now we're going to... Uh, to improve again our devastated city. And then the government uh, uh, held or hosted a festival so that people may, what do you call this, uh, may restore their uh, past life. Very important to keep on doing this, sharing our own traditional knowledge. Why? Many of these people who do suicide or lose despair loses they lose their sense of identity they lose their sense of direction and meaning but when you go back to your traditions there's a lot of music craftsmanship there's a lot of dancing and theater and creating that makes you aware that you are more than a physical tool a physical being you're more than that no you are a spiritual being that can create God the spirits created you because you have a soul you have that creative energy to keep on building and creating. Once you lose that, that sense of meaning in yourself, meaning of the universe, meaning of this beautiful creation, you lose all sense of meaning. And, and But if you are attached, if you're rooted, you're anchored in the values of life, meaning which you find in traditional traditions, no? then you go back to that, okay? You go back to the sense of power inside you the sense of power of nature, the sense of power of the spirit, okay? that you are constantly evolving, transforming. So I personally believe in the power of music to give a sense of rootedness, theater, dance, uh, craftsmanship, architecture, because th this really gives you a sense of where we are going, why we are living, and why we are existing.